run camera tonight, so hoping all is well in the world of Twitch world. So, I'm Chef Paulette, naughty to nice, glad that you've joined us. Tonight we are going to do some, mmm, my favorite, especially because it's raining, and it's getting to be that time of the year when we like soup, and I'm making two soups tonight, right? So, you know, I've noticed I've got kind of two kinds of followers. I've got some vegan followers, and I've got some keto, paleo type followers. You know my CrossFit friends out there are kind of into the whole meat scene, and those of you that are not into that, that are out there with your hippie loving camping selves, I know y'all are into my whole vegan thing, and so hey, but what I wanna know is, who are you in the house tonight? So give me a little nod, let me know who you are and that you're watching me and that you're supporting me and I just love you and I'm so glad that you are here and that you are uh, joining me live, which is the best way to join me. It's almost like you're here in my kitchen and hanging out with me. So anyways, all right, I'm going on and on. All right. So what we're doing tonight, we're doing two soups, right? We're doing a Zuppa Toscano and we are doing a Thai peanut soup. The Thai peanut soup I'm doing for my buddy Kevin who is going through some chemotherapy, going through a little bit of uh, cancer and I fully believe he's going to be healed. So I'm excited and wanting to help out his autoimmune, well just immune issues with the cancer. So, so anyway, let's get to it. So I'm gonna cook them both simultaneously. Vegan soup, keto soup. So let's check that out. All right, so. In the oven already I've been roasting up some cauliflower right because usually when you make Zuppa Toscano you use potatoes which are very not carb friendly plus they turn sugar in your body so let's just take the potato throw it out over there and instead we're gonna replace it with cauliflower now I think cauliflower is best roasted so I've got the cauliflower in the oven let me check it out <gasps> Woo! she's looking delish all right, so I've got some cauliflower. It's not done yet. I've just been cooking it in, don't tell the vegans, I've been cooking it in bacon grease. Oh my gosh. So anyways, that's what I got going on here. So I've got some bacon grease uh, and some cauliflower. And then I'm actually going to just kind of, I know you can't see this, so I'm gonna lift it up. So I'm just gonna kind of stir it around. Just amazing, make it look delish. And if you're wondering, hey, looks like she's got something on there. Well, I'll tell you what I got on there. I just kind of sneak it in there. For people that don't know any better, I got a little turmeric in there, a little cayenne pepper. You know me, I like to put cayenne pepper, get a little spice and kick it up a notch. So that's what I've done here. Got some turmeric on here and I'm gonna throw some kale on the side. Kale, yeah. <laughs> kale in the house tonight. Woohoo! Woo, let's go the green. No, I'm just kidding, okay. So, got my kale. I'm just laying it out. You know what? I'm not even putting salt because guess what? Bacon's got a lot of salt in it, so I'm just gonna leave it. Although I have to tell you, just to say, my bacon comes from a very good local source and I'm very proud um, of my bacon, okay? So I'm gonna take this right here, throw it in the oven, just like this, finishing it off. It's only gonna take five minutes. And also, while I'm in here, the other thing I'm gonna finish off is gonna be these peanuts. I'm gonna roast them just a little bit. These are raw peanuts, and I'm gonna finish them off at the very end on this amazing Thai vegan soup. So I've got these Thai uh, peanuts, and they're in coconut oil, roasting them in the oven, 400 degrees, about five, 10 minutes, something like that. Hey, by the way, somebody messaged my son. Is he in the house tonight? Is my son in the house tonight? I don't think he's in the house. I forgot to message him. Somebody message him. Remind my son, only reason why, I, you know what? That kid totally loves soups. So, soups and pies, that's my boy. All right, so I'm talking about it again. All right, now both soups essentially start out the same way. In fact, really, all soups start out the same way. You put a little oil, bacon, bacon grease, uh, coconut oil, which is what I'm gonna start the vegan soup with. And you're just gonna heat up that oil a little bit and I'm gonna add and saute the onions and the garlic. So let me, uh-oh, I put the wrong one in. That's not gonna work good. There we go. So I got that guy going on. Got my onions, got my butter, got the coconut oil. Okay, 
Now what? I think I'm gonna take a little nap. Just kidding. Okay. While I'm waiting for the pans to heat up, I just want to talk a little bit about the ingredients for the Thai peanut soup. Hello, darling. Okay. Do you know what this is? It looks like chicken, but it's not. It's tofu. Now, Chef Paulette does not eat the tofu because I have Hashimoto's. No good for the thyroid. We can argue that if you want. I love to argue. Used to be a debate teacher. We can talk all day. Go to my website, www.naughtytonice.com. But I'd rather just say, if you want to eat tofu and it doesn't bother you, I'll make you some tofu. If not, I'll have the chicken. So, tofu, lime juice. I've got, look at the, you guys, the bell peppers were like pretty much the most beautiful ones I've seen in a long time. Then I've got a serrano pepper. You can use jalapeno. Give it just a tiny bit of heat. Plus, the spice is good for you. I always say, spice is good. It's good for the soul. All right, then I've got a little ginger. And guess what? The orange stuff is right there. It looks like ginger, but it's not ginger. It's turmeric. It looks like a little freakish root. Mmm, smells good too. I love it. You can put it in like your smoothies or whatever. Got a little lime zest. What is this? Oh, shoot. That's my garlic. It smells good, but you know. You know, good and not good. It's like, whatever. I don't think anybody's even in the house tonight. Is anybody even in the house tonight? Oh, yeah. Everybody's in the house tonight. We've got some houses. 13 of them. We got some, oh, we got some houses. Okay. So I'm just going to take a little butter. You never need that much butter, like maybe a tablespoon of butter. I'm just going to throw that butter in there. By the way, I have a huge apology for anybody who's like actually following me and wanting my recipes because I did not post that chicken fried steak from last week. And please don't be upset with me. I'm sorry. I know I've done wrong and I swear I'm going to do better. But I just didn't get a chance to post it. But I swear, I swear, I swear on my life. Colin, hold me to it. Because mm -hmm. you, you know you're going to drive me crazy. Um, by the way, in goes the... Oh! There she goes. God, that's the best sound on the planet. Seriously. Nothing better than that sound. All right. Let's throw my missed garlic, missed garlic in there. And usually around this time, and I, I'll use a separate thing so you vegans don't get freaked out or anything like this. Look, I'm like a DJ. named Lovely Loafers just joined in. Oh, my son is in the house! Yay! Paul, I'm cooking two soups for you. Zuppa Toscana and for your little vegan friends. They're not little, I know. They're lovely. They're lovely. I'm making a Thai peanut soup. So good, so good. We can't make that for Jason, but that's okay. Because I know he can't have peanuts. All right, I'm going to take the red bell peppers. Those fancy bell peppers. This is gonna be, I think this soup is gonna be amazing. It's gonna be delicious. And garlic, turmeric. Okay. In the house. In the house. Garlic's in the house. Uh oh. It's definitely not gonna sing. Definitely not. Definitely not. Definitely not. But I'm thinking about it. Don't let me get this stuff mixed up because the soup of Toscano would be so weird with some of, this, some of these ingredients. Oh, I need to put some uh, salt and pepper in both of them, always. A little salt. Yes, I do have a recipe that I do not follow. And you know I like the cayenne, but 
but just a splash. I'm not gonna go cray cray. All right, this is what makes it tie. Tie, I'm gonna use the red. Sometimes I use the green and I use lemongrass. Tonight, I'm using the red. We're making a red tie because of the peanuts. All right, that's the wrong spoon. Don't use a spoon with the butter under it, it makes it no longer vegan. So I'm gonna take a big, fat, juicy spoonful. Stick her in there. All right. Now I just wanna show you. We have a five minute warning. Uh -oh. All right, I get it. This is what it's looking like at this point, okay? So I'm gonna stir, stir, stir that chili around. By the way, we're still working on the second camera thing. You know we had technical issues last week and you're just gonna have to, to deal with it. I'm gonna have to deal with it. We're all gonna have to deal with it. Give me a little grace, man. That's what we all need in these COVID days, man. We need some grace. <clears throat> All right, so I added that um, Thai chili, but you know what? However much it is, I don't like that much. I want more. I'm going to turn it down because it's getting crazy at this point. Let me see what's happening in the oven. Nope, it's not ready. Four more minutes because I want it crispy, crispy. All right, this is the point at which I add... The stock. Now, I made a homemade stock. Yum, right? Because I had a bunch of uh, bones left from a whole chicken the other day. So I'm going to take the sausage that goes in the Zupa Toscano, again, local pork sausage, pork farmer. So, and I'm going to throw in this, or strain out this amazing stock. <laughs> Meanwhile, time to grab the uh, vegan protein. This is the one that I'm using, very nice. And I want to talk to you guys a little bit about broths. Bone broths, and there are vegan broths that are made uh, with different proteins. This is one of the most healthy things that you can eat are those broths. Now, I've done a raw vegan diet before, and I think they're fantastic. And I think if you want to go through and do some of those, it's not coming. Are you getting comments in there? Because I'm not getting comments on here. That's weird. Can you see comments? Mm -hmm. You guys, I'm not seeing comments. Are they good comments? You can show me. I have a friend here, just to tell you. He's like my hot man. That. He's my hot man. Who was that? Let me yeah. see. Well, that was your. Well, we have. Um, hey. Hey, girl. Hey. We have that's a me. sing it chef from two people. Aww. They're commenting if they want you to sing more. Uh oh, that's scary. <laughs> it, do you know me or do you not know me? <laughs> it sometimes gets a little real in here with the whole singing afterwards. But I just want to show you, so at this point, I put that vegan protein in. That vegan protein that I just put in, it's creamy, so it does have a tiny bit of the coconut stuff, so I'm not going to put, like, I'm not going to go quick for with this stuff, but something else I'm going to throw in just to give it a little extra <clears throat> is a little, uh, like, peanut butter, okay? Yum. It's my peanut butter. I'm going to stick it in the peanut sauce, give it a little extra, you know? Oh, my God. You know what I totally forgot to put in there? But it doesn't really matter. I can put it in there right now. What? <laughs> what? Okay, I'll tell you. I'm gonna put. I gotta put some soy. You guys, you can put soy or coconut aminos. I'm definitely gonna go for the soy since we're putting tofu in at the end anyway. So I like tamari though because it's gluten free. So I'm gonna put a little. Now I would. I would say put it in. That and the peanut butter while you're still sauteing, because I kind of forgot to do that, but that's okay. I forgive myself again. I'm giving myself a lot of grace. Ooh, that looks like a good amount. I think about two tablespoons of something like that. Something like that. Ooh, this looks so good. Oh my gosh. I might, you guys, I might turn into a vegan tonight. 
This looks so good. I don't know though. That soup's looking pretty doggone good. All right, so at this point, this is where you simmer and tell jokes. Well, tell jokes. Oh, me. <laughs> I'm the host. I have to tell the jokes. Okay, okay. Let me put my glasses on. See what you crazy people are up to. All right, let's see. Okay, hey there. Ro and um, Lori. Oh my God, Lori, you're in the house. Hey, girl. Oh, <laughs> are they good comments? Exactly, Malou. You know, girlfriend. Okay. What else would they be? Oh, is, is this Bama girl? That has got to be my sweet Leslie. She's so sweet. Hey, chef. Gosh, you guys, I'm so glad. So good to see you. Okay, uh, I think it's definitely time to take this stuff out of the oven. So here we go. All right. All right. These peanuts are a garnish, and I'm going to put them in at the end. So I'm going to put them over here by the bacon, and that's for, like, at the very end whenever we're ready to go cray-cray with it. This is, like, the end cray-cray stuff. I'm going to put the end cray-cray stuff right here. All end cray-cray stuff goes here. All stuff we're finished with that can go on with our lives are going to go over here. So the kale, I'm going to put it at the end because I, you hear that? Listen, you hear that crispy? I like that crispy at the end. The cauliflower, I'm going to add because we're kind of wanting it to be like potatoes. So we're gonna stick it in there. Mr. Corndog, <laughs> how are you doing? Do you know it's funny? Earlier I was putting um, a carrot in the <laughs> stock, <laughs> and a friend said, Is that a corndog? I said, No, it's a carrot. I don't know why I'm telling you Guilty. that. Guilty. Dork. He's a dork. These are my dork. This is my dork hype man, man. All right, so here's what we have to do at this point these soups look amazing. And guess what? Look what's in here. This is so funny. This is my Zupa Toscana. And you would like look at this and be like, what the heck is this doing in here? But it actually came out of my, wow, mother kisses of death. <laughs> it's like a, a lip chili pepper. Ah! This does not normally go in Zupa Toscano. It did go, it did go in my bone bra. So. Good for the sinuses. You see, it's good for the sciences. The sinuses, the sinuses. Oh my gosh, you guys, this soup is so, I'm so glad that it's raining and that you guys are here and how are we looking? We got 10 minutes, tell, we're gonna have to jack this soup up and tell it to hurry up and start simmering. This one actually is almost done. Did I have anything else in the oven? No. So, you know what? Just a little something something to tell you. Okay, see these little cauliflowers? Like when you roast them up? If you're on some kind of cray cray diet, like I pretty much am every day, and then I change my mind, and then I'm back, and then I'm not, and then I am, and then I'm not, you can take, roast up a little cauliflower, a little cayenne pepper, a little turmeric, mm, or some coconut oil, or bacon. Oops, did I say bacon? Mm. Oh, bacon. And just watch some movies instead of eating popcorn, because you know that corn's not so good for you. Especially if you get it from the movie theater. Oh, but anyway, that's another story. Listen, if you have not gone to my website, put that down from me. www.naughtytonight.com. You won't have to, you won't have to ask me like what, what's naughty, what's nice. You'll know because I put it on the website, okay? And I talk about my own experience and I know my experience is not everybody's experience and that's fine with me. You know what? We're all about the love in this house and being nice about what we eat <laughs> and how we treat each other. It's, that's all part of it, you know? We gotta love each other. Especially in these crazy times, we gotta give each other grace. All right, so my Zupa Toscana is finally kind of uh, starting to boil up a little bit, simmer a little bit. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and just finish this guy off. And let me show you how I finish this guy off. Take a little whipping cream. Now, if you can't do dairy, you can use coconut milk because whole coconut milk is thick and juicy, just like heavy whipping cream, just like you were gonna make ganache, you can substitute it. I'm just gonna throw a little on the way. By the way, I'd like to give you a little preview of what is getting ready to come. So I don't know if you know, bum, bum, bum. this person right here has a birthday next week, okay? And so guess what I'm gonna be doing? I'm gonna be doing cake. So we're gonna have a month of cake. Every Tuesday night, I'm gonna make cake. Now I may make something else too, but every Tuesday, I'm going to be doing cake. And I may even give away some cake. So if y'all know somebody who has a birthday in September, probably meaning they're a Virgo, not that I'm into that astrology stuff or whatever, but if you know somebody, let me know. Maybe I'll make a cake for them on the episode and send it out to them, do something sweet to them. So just let me know. Next week is mine, and so I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna tell you whatever I do, it's gonna be chocolate. It's gonna be involved with chocolate because I am like a chocoholic. All right, so I added the cream, and it was about a cup and a half. Check, the, check my recipe tomorrow to tell you exactly what I just put in there, not that I have any other idea. And then I'm just gonna take that kale and throw it in there. Kale, yeah! Okay. Like I've never heard that one before. Who hasn't ever said kale yet? Okay. Oh, uh, did we get those bowls? Oh yeah. No, go get those other bowls. Go get, go get something uh, sexier. Go get the colored ones. Okay. So, this soup is done, less the garnish. So I'm gonna put it in a um, bowl in a second so you guys can have some. And now this soup still needs a little of the whipping cream. So I'm gonna add that little whipping cream to make it a little creamier. Mmm, oh my gosh. You guys, I'm telling you, this stuff looks good. Now at this point, you, you know, I don't know what you know about tofu, but it pretty much has zero flavor. If I picked this up and put this in my mouth, it would be like tasting like nothing. But you put it in something delicious and amazing, and it's gonna absorb all those flavors, okay? That's what I did. Now I'm gonna add all the other cool stew. So this is the point at which you can add pretty much just about anything. So I'm going to add, okay, a little lime zest, just about a tablespoon of lime zest, and a splash of, of lime juice, which is probably gonna make that curl just a little bit. But that's okay, it'll be amazing anyway. I really don't care. Okay. Now, first I'm gonna pull this down. I'm gonna let you guys take a look out of it. And then I'm going to plate it into a bowl so you can see how to garnish it and see how beautiful it is. I'm gonna be so excited. Here, let's see. All right, can you see these guys? Wait, you need to come back this way. Okay, that's the Thai coconut soup. And my friend Kevin is one lucky man. And this right here is the kale soup. So. I'm going to get Nessie. Pull me up just a little bit. Do you guys remember Nessie? Let me get Nessie out. Come here, Nessie. She gets so excited. She says, oh, wee, really? it's such a bit of soup for me. So I'll start with the vegan soup. Now, if I had somebody over here that was gonna, oh, look at that. Oh, Nessie says, I love to, I love to serve the soup. That's a bit nice. Okay, so we're going to try first. Look at that soup, holy crud. I'm gonna take a little cilantro. And a little bit of these, I mean, ow, these, these guys are hot. Sorry, I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was pretty funny. All right, let me try that again. <laughs> All right, a little, there you go, a little peanuts. Was there something else I was supposed to put in here? Because it feels like there was. No, there's not, that's it. Okay. Soup number one. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it smells so good. You wanna try it? Okay, and then the other soup, soup number two. God, that looks really good too. Holy mackerel. Okay. And, oh, it gets bacon garnish, right? So you take the bacon and you can just do like this or you can chop it up. 
but I'm gonna make it look really yummy because Callan's gonna eat it just like that. So that is mm. my Zupa Toscana. Mmm, deliciosa. Thank you for joining me Tuesday night. I'm so glad. This is like my favorite night of the week to see you guys and to come join me. Love you to death, and I hope y'all have a great week, a great day. Hope uh, God is good to you, and I hope you're keeping your immune built so if you get the coronavirus, you can quickly get over it. And, um, and if you do get it, I just pray for healing and well-being. And um, if there's ever anything I can do for you, just let me know. I hope you have a great night, guys. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me just see what anybody's saying. Where's my glasses? I have 10 pairs, like half of them are broken and fogged. You look delicious, thank you. Yes, and please do not forget to subscribe, follow, and turn on those notifications. And guys, tell everybody, good night, Paul, love you. Good night, everybody.